Hi guys, this is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winner Bellevue Commons. Today is going to be my big market update for months in August and I'm going to cover all Seattle and all east side locations and we'll compare Seattle to Bellevue. And we're going to talk in this episode about numbers and data, what's happening in all Seattle and all east side locations. And we'll talk about fears, uh, what's driving this market right now. And at the end of this episode, I will tell you my thoughts what I'm thinking about where the market is moving. So stay tuned with me and I hope you enjoy. I will start with all Seattle areas. And as you guys can see on the screen with me together, we have right now in Seattle areas 1.6 months of inventory with 954,500 minimum sell price and 6% increase year over year. Currently on the market, 981 active listings with 612 pending sales. I'd like to point for you guys bottom portion of the slide when you guys can see increase 6% year over year and this is comparison for last 10 years. If you see this data increasing year over year, so only one year we have price drop in several areas was 2019, but all other years prices increase. Just remember this information and we're going to be talking about fears a little bit later in this episode. And on this side right now is a little bit more dramatic situation. We have 2.1 months inventory with 1,197 active listings in the month of July and 575 pending sales at the same time. Uh, medium sell price $1,420,000 and 7% increase year over year. And if you guys can see also with me, increase year over years for last 10 years, we have increased every year starting from 2013, you guys can see 9%. All the way to 2022, 7%, but only one year we have price drop was 2019. In 2019, we did have two months inventory. Very similar situation as we do have right now on the market. In Seattle, we have 35% homes selling above asking price and 25% selling at asking price. If you combine those numbers together, we do have about 61% homes selling at or above asking price. This is not bad. This is really good still seller's market. And on the east side, we have 23% home selling above asking price, 15% selling at asking price, and if you combine those numbers together, it will be uh, 38%. And 26% of all homes sold after price reduction. As you guys can see on the east side, we have less than 50% homes sell above asking price or at asking price and uh, we're moving to strong balance market, which I think is really, really great for the buyers right now. See, like you guys can see on the slide with me together, 78% uh, of all homes selling less than 15 days in the market. And if you add another 17% of homes selling up to 30 days on the market, uh, less than 4% homes selling more than 30 days on, on the market. Uh, those numbers tells me we have still strong sellers market in Seattle and we have very high demand in Seattle locations. And on the east side, 68% homes selling less than 15 days on the market and 20% selling up to 30 days on the market and only about 10% homes selling more than 30 days on the market. And those 10% of the homes selling more than 30 days on the market create a lot of fear for the sellers, which we're going to be cover soon. I want to remind you guys, if you guys have months of inventory from zero to two months, the strong sellers market, the green colors represent from two to four months in inventory, it's a balanced market. If you're going to have four plus months inventory, it's going to be strong buyer's market. If you see right now on those maps from last three years, we finally have some changes. Uh, previously, we have very strong sellers market year ago and two years ago when it was all orange. And right now we, st we already have some greens. And greens we have right now for areas like Kirkland, Burial, Bellevue, Sammamish, North Bend, pretty much some parts of East Side, South Seattle, and those uh, Snohomish County. So those areas become more balanced market because have more than two months of inventory. And now let's talk about fears. Let's talk about Seattle fears first. You guys can see the slide with me on the screen. This is like a really important slide. The graphs for medium close sell price from 2019 to 2022. 
and you guys can see a huge jump was in January 2022 to April 2022. So minimum sell price in Seattle was $790,000 in January and jump all the way to $1,025,000. And right now what we see in Seattle areas, we see price corrections. So prices adjusting to normal price increases and those adjustments happening for last three months. And uh, from April to May price decreased to medium sell price million twenty five thousand dollars in June was one million dollars and in July a medium sell price in several areas nine hundred fifty four thousand five hundred dollars a lot of people screaming about that like oh my gosh what's happening with the prices it's time to sell 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 and let's sell properties but if you remember I show you graphs on the beginning of this video prices increase year over year we don't have any problems in several areas prices increase six percent year over year but yes for last three months prices going down and we see pretty normal market adjustment and this market adjustment seasonal market adjustment this happens every year prices usually climbing down from august to beginning of the year because a lot of people already bought properties who are planning to move for the school for the kids in the spring springtime and, and summertime and right now the kids almost going to school and families very very busy with own stuff what they're doing so right now is probably the worst time to sell property right before the school season but right now is a good time for buyers if somebody um, find a house they can a really good deal and on east side for three consecutive months prices declining as well and this decline creates a lot of fears on the market but uh, I want to point to you guys for those graphs uh, and price increase from 2019 to 2020 on this slide. You guys can see how much price increase from uh, October and September 2021 to March 2022, all the way to million seven hundred twenty-two thousand dollars in April, and this is like four hundred thousand dollars price increase. Very abnormal uh, increase uh, for the market, with the market supposed to be increased about one or two percent a month. Huge price jump. And currently we see market corrections and market corrections start three months ago with medium sell price drop in April from 1,722,000 to 1,590,000 in May to 1,500,000 in June and currently in July was $1,720,000. So you guys can see these corrections and with if these corrections and those lines not outliers, we most likely going to see medium sell price in September and October about 1.3, 1.35, on the east side and that's supposed to be normal medium price for this market and what is driving this market this market driving a lot of fears and a lot of news and we're living in a worldwide market even some news like from germany germans just released uh, 10 years yield data for inflation data inflation was unexpectedly high in germany and that reflect u.s market and we have 0.25 a percent jumps in the mortgage rate just because German released inflation data in Germany. If you believe it or not, so we live in world economy. A lot of fears we have from the news and I can say buyers are really sensitive on today's market for interest rate, for mortgage payment. And like as soon as houses become more affordable, those buyers jump in right away on opportunity because we still have a lot of buyers on the market. Thousand people wants to buy, but a lot of people not buying right now. They just wait what's happening to make sure those property, what they're looking for become affordable for their family. How much mortgage payments can change with, with increasing or decreasing interest rate? And it's an example for Seattle areas uh, from December 2021 when rates were 3.1% and mortgage payment was $3,583,000. Back to July uh, with the medium sell price $954,000 and mortgage rate 5.41%. 5, uh, 5 you guys can see uh, 
for same property, people have to pay for $1,783 more for same mortgage pretty much. This is why buyers really sensitive for the mortgage rates because a couple percent more or less can change with the mortgage payments for a couple thousand dollars a month for those families. And uh, what's going to be happen, guys, if we finally going to beat inflation? If CPI reports are gonna come back uh, lower than expected, and what's going to be happen with this market? If that's going to be happen, those thousand buyers who's looking to buy a property right now, they're going to be actually buy because houses become affordable again. And if you're a buyer and looking to buy a property, you will ask me all the why I have to buy a home right now when we have so high interest rate and mortgage payment is so high? And answer for this, really simple. Right now, it's a great time to buy because you can buy better home than you can buy a year ago. You have much more choices. For example, in sale areas, we have 843 homes on the market and we have about almost 1200 homes on the market on the east side. We don't have so many homes on the market a year ago when you was looking to buy the property. Second reason is timing. Uh, you don't have to rush to submit offer within a couple of hours. I sold many, many homes within a few hours after they came on the market. But now you have time to think about it, if you want to buy it or not. Now you have time to do contingency. You can do financial contingency. You can do inspection for this property. You can rely on your appraisal. So much less risk for the buyer to buy their own home. More programs available from the lenders and from very motivated sellers uh, because sellers driving by same fears as a buyers driving and sellers want to sell those properties and if sellers driving by the fear and want to sell and they think in prices going down every single month it might be going to be lower next month they willing to negotiate price they willing to to uh, negotiate your inspection contingency and give you a better deal they willing to work with you as a buyers and as you as your buyer is this to your advantage to get this property, to buy this property on today's market, and you're gonna get much better deal than you can get a year ago. And with that, guys, you can refinance. You can refinance property when the mortgage interest rates went down. Finance, you're gonna catch pretty much two rabbits. First of all, your loan amount will be lower than you get house a year ago, and your mortgage interest rate will be the same as you can get a few years ago. So that's a, it's a great news for the buyers. And I think right now, guys, it's a great time to buy. As an example, guys, I wanna show you with this property I just sold last week. This home was listed on the market in Sammamish, very nice neighborhood, multi-million dollars neighborhood for $1.2 million. So 2,160 square feet Rambler on a big, huge lot, uh, available parking for RV, so like 0.35 acres lot. It's very unusual for Sammamish, level lot, flat lot, no hills. It's a really, really nice house. And this house, for some reason, wasn't selling and was 20 days on the market. But seller had a fear. I speak with the listing agent and they have fear they cannot sell. They doesn't know what to do. Listing agent was great agent and she did a lot of work for the sellers to sell. But market today is a different market and sellers have fears to sell. So what's happened then? My clients, I represent the buyers this time. My clients purchased this property for $1,050,000 purchase property for 150,000 below list price. And when we uh, call for appraisal, we did finances, the appraisal come back by $1,350,000. And my clients got 300,000 instant equity. This is like very unbelievable. But why we was able to achieve those amazing goals and buy this property for such cheap? Only because sellers have fear to sell, they was willing to negotiate price, they was willing to negotiate second time after home inspection and we drop price again. And at the end, we drop price for 150 thousand dollars on today's market i think it's a great opportunity to buy if sellers have a fear and that's why right now is the best time to buy you don't you did not have the situations a year ago even six months ago was totally different market but if you're a buyer looking to buy a house now it's your time now you can use this opportunity to find sellers who have a lot of fear cannot sell and willing to negotiate price 
with you. And if you're a seller, what you should expect in today's market? First of all, what you should expect, uh, less showings for your property. Maybe two to four showings a week. When you do open house, you're probably gonna see only seven groups, maybe like a few groups only. Uh, you're not, not gonna see like 20 or 30 or 100 groups like it was a year ago. Within 14 days, if house doesn't sell, you should expect price drop and to attract more buyers and more showings and generate more traffic for your house. And you're probably going to receive offer within two or three weeks and probably this offer going to be uh, less for a couple percent. Even if you have two offers on the property after price drop, those offers not going to be a full price. And probably you're going to be sell house about two to three percent below list price at that time which is totally fine in this market. Many sellers struggle because they doesn't know how to use strategies to sell the property and working with very unexperienced agents. But if you guys follow my advice, you should be fine and you should be sell your property without any problem. And with that, guys, if you're still till the end of this episode, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will provide a lot of data information for you you can use to analyze and make your informative decision to buy or sell real estate. You see my number on the screen, reach out to me. I will be a lot of your real estate resource and answer any questions you have. Enjoy your rest of the summer. Enjoy those beautiful days. Until next time. Absolutely, I would recommend Oleg. I mean, this, there's, there's no question in my mind that Oleg is the best person in Seattle. From every angle, we worked with him. He was a professional. Sure, sure, I definitely can recommend him because you, you can trust him. If you want to buy a house that has equity, if you want to buy a house that you actually want, you got to use and love Oleg it. because yeah. he's the best out there.